Hello everyone, today is December 28th, 2017. It's been a crazy week in crypto, and by crazy, I mean pretty freaking terrible. If you've been following, we've been kind of in a bear market, but if you were smart and lucky and were playing the long game on, let's say, something like Ripple, uh, Ripple has d done well, definitely outperformed the market. And with that said, that's created uh, an increasing amount of attention on the ripple platform and the token so i figured it's a good time to show you how to create a ripple desktop wallet so first things first um i think it's important to have alternatives to exchange wallets i think most people i'm gonna make a, a an informed estimate and guess that most people are not using a ripple desktop wallet and that they're still keeping their funds on an exchange account uh, now, I've said this in many other videos, desktop wallets are just fundamentally more secure and better than uh, exchange wallets if your priority is to protect your assets. With that said, I'm going to keep this video short and sweet. I'm only going to show you how to set up the wallet. If you want to see how to actually move uh, ripple from an exchange to the desktop wallet just subscribe to my channel because i'm going to come out with that video soon here anyways let's get started the first step you need to take is visit this website ripx.net yada yada i've provided the link to this in the description of this video the second step you need to take is hit the download button for whichever operating system you're using whether that's windows mac linux and so on I'm running Windows and I already downloaded this and to save us time I've already set it up so basically you download it you install the the wallet and you launch it like you would any other desktop application and when you launch it you're gonna be brought here so um, you can you can have all these different options right uh, server settings submit transaction cold wallet read-only mode but the one we care about for this video is open account so uh, basically the next step is to create new account and uh, out of all these three options you want to do create an empty account and so when you do that it uh, the desktop wallet will pop up with a dialog box so this thing this window here and it's gonna ask you basically where do you want to store the wallet file um, I'm just gonna store it to my desktop for now because I like my desktop I like it really messy Okay, and now um, that wallet file is important and you need to back it up somewhere because if, let's say, your computer just stops working one day or it crashes or you forget your password or anything like that, you'll need that wallet file to recover your Ripple wallet on any other device. So I'm going to make a password uh, like the uh, password I have for any other account I've ever had ever. I'm going to make it password1, P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D, number one. By the way, I, I don't recommend doing that, and I don't recommend using the same password across all your applications. But uh, for the demonstration purposes, I'm doing that. So uh, set my password, and the next thing you need to do is you need to encrypt your account by clicking this button here, encrypt account. Now what happens is it takes you to the next step, and the next step is it's gonna give you a, a secret key. So it gives you a note here, like read it, okay? Uh, but in a nutshell, if you ever lost your password, the only other way to recover your wallet is to have your secret key. And if anybody has your secret key, those people or whoever can steal all of the Ripple associated with the Ripple wallet. So you click on show secret key and it says, are you in a safe place where no person or camera can see your screen? Okay, this matters because like I said, if anybody gets a hold of your secret key, your Ripple is likely going to be toast. So I'll say, yes, show me. And you can see the secret key. I'd say, write this down, store it in a safe place, uh, and don't forget it. And then I'll say, yes, I saved my secret key. Uh, now I'm in my wallet. I can see my balance, history, contacts. Um, I can caught, you can see your address here. And from here, you can send Ripple to a particular address. And you and then you if you want to have people send you Ripple, you just have them send it to the addresses up here. Um, 
that's really it. I, I think uh, for a beginner, your, most of your time is going to be spent in overtime. I'm sorry, not overtime. Overview. Gosh. Balance. History. Send. I think this is going to be where most of your time is spent. Um, so that's where I'd focus for now. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment them in. Um, otherwise, keep an eye out for my future videos about Ripple technologies and applications. Um, and keep Keep following and subscribing to this channel for some great cryptocurrency knowledge. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.